This is Mrs. Benke, and this screencast is on the definition of chemistry and the branches of chemistry. Chemistry is the study of the composition, structure, and the properties of matter, and the processes that matter undergoes, and the energy changes that accompany these changes. So basically, chemistry is the study of matter and the changes that the matter undergoes. So questions like, what is a material's makeup? Or how does a material change when heated or cooled or mixed with other materials? And why does this behavior occur? There are six branches of chemistry. One branch is called organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is the study of most carbon-containing compounds. For example, an organic chemist may work with an athlete um, to determine what type of chemicals an inhaler should have so that they can be used to control symptoms of asthma. Another branch of chemistry is inorganic chemistry, which is the study of non-organic substances. Uh, many of these substances have organic fragments bonded to metals, and those are called organometallics. Uh, an inorganic chemist might try to explain how a lack of calcium can affect the growth and the repair of bones. Another branch of chemistry is physical chemistry. This is the study of the properties and the changes of matter and their relation to energy. For example, a physical chemist might study factors that affect breathing rates during exercise. Another branch of chemistry is analytical chemistry, which is the identification of the components and composition of materials. Analytical chemists develop tests to detect chemicals in the blood, and these tests help to show if organs in the body are working properly. Biochemistry is another branch of chemistry, which is the study of substances and processes occurring in living things. So a biochemist might study how the energy used for the contraction of muscles is produced and stored. The final branch of chemistry is theoretical chemistry, and theoretical chemistry uses mathematics and computers to understand the principles behind observed chemical behavior and to design and predict the properties of new compounds. Theoretical chemists work with advanced subjects such as quantum chemistry, molecular dynamics, statistical thermodynamics, and quantum mechanics in order to develop solid theories which can then be applied in industry, medical, and nuclear applications. In all areas of chemistry, scientists work with chemicals. A chemical is any substance that has a definite composition. Some examples of chemicals are sucrose or table sugar, carbon dioxide, and water. Knowing the properties of chemicals allows chemists to find suitable uses for them. On the table, you can see some common chemicals, their common name, their chemical name, and their formula. All of these chemicals are probably items that you can find in your household, and chemists have helped develop uses for these chemicals beyond what was originally known. Please make sure that you respond to the comment uh, question that's located in Schoology, and make sure you've taken notes and you show your notes to Mrs. Benke in class. Write any questions that you have so we can address them in class.